Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lolland. I am so excited to welcome Katie Sackoff to the show. Congratulations on your new Netflix series, Another Life. Thank you so much. We're really excited about it. It's doing really well. So you are back, sci-fi, interstellar mission. <laughs> yeah. I can't say I'm surprised. Tell us about the show. So the show is about an alien artifact that lands on Earth, and my character plays a retired astronaut who is in the military, and they pull her out of retirement to lead a young group of astronauts into space to determine if it's uh, friendly or if it's a threat. So, um, and we realize very quickly that it, things are not going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at the trailer for Another Life. We interrupt this broadcast for an emergency alert. The Department of Defense is confirming reports of an unknown object entering Earth's atmosphere. An alien artifact landed on Earth. We need to know why. And they want me to lead the mission. Our first contact with an alien civilization is a risk. People will die. We are all here for the same reason. To protect the lives of the people back on Earth. I have to save the crew. Save Earth. What if by doing this, we launch into an interstellar war? We don't have a choice. Everyone loves a woman with a mission. <laughs> Just yeah. your average so, Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. I look at the, the trailer. You know, I can't help but look at your arms. Like, what are you doing? We want to know all about your arms it's and your so workout. Funny. Oh, my gosh. I get asked about my arms so much. <laughs> Um, my workout was very strict for this. Um, I wanted her, she, my character comes out of cryosleep in the very beginning, and I wanted her to look as if she was, um, her satiation was minimum, it, what they needed to stay alive. You know, I, I said that, I made a joke the other day, you're not getting McDonald's in cryosleep. You know, you're getting what your body needs, and I wanted her to look very lean and sinewy. Um, and so it was a lot of working out and restrictive calories, and, but um, on, a normal, on a normal, like, basis, I just lived very light and sort of I just did a Spartan race though so that's probably wow. why they're they're wow. a lot more muscular now than they were on the show yeah. so, very light yeah. right. no, no work at all in <laughs> I was an athlete when I was younger so wow. I, I just naturally you know lean towards characters that are more physically active mm -hmm. and and I really enjoy it in my personal life so mm -hmm. well and fans might recognize you most obviously as Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica yeah. so what attracts you to these powerful roles women on a mission yeah you know when I was a kid there weren't a ton of women, strong women on television. So I grew up wanting to be Bruce Willis because that's what I had. Yeah. You know, we had Linda Hamilton, we had Sigourney right. Weaver, we had Lucy Lawless, but we didn't have an overabundance of these strong women. And so I always leaned towards those characters. My dad and I grew up watching sci-fi together. He gave me my love of it. And so it's sort of paying homage to him and, and doing things that he wants to see, but also giving young girls and women sort of characters that are role models that I didn't have growing up. So I've got to be honest with you. When I made the drive from Michigan to Los Angeles, mm -hmm. we had one box set of DVDs, and it was Battlestar Glock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> so from Michigan through Utah, Nebraska, and Wyoming, I watched Starbuck, and it, your character, and you are mm -hmm. so empowering. Literally, you got me through Michigan to LA. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know each other. This is such a true story. My boyfriend got me into it. But at the time, he's like, Battlestar Galactica. I thought, oh, my gosh, no. Yeah. Loved it. It was an amazing series, and it's wow. so relevant even now. You know, the, the subject matter is so timely. Um, it's it's an important show. Um, this Another Life is not that. You know, um, I think that the Battlestar Galactica fans were slightly disappointed because they thought that this was going to be very Battlestar, like metaphor for the human condition, which it's not. This is very 90s sci-fi. This is fun to watch. It's very quick pace. Um, it doesn't take itself too seriously. So it's, it's a lot more um, popcorn, for lack of a better word, but it's so much fun to watch which is great. You know, you, I couldn't go back and do another Battlestar Galactica because it was so good um, mm -hmm. that I had to sort of try something different. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. When did you commit to being an actor, you know, yeah. acting as a career? Do you remember? 
So I had gotten hurt. I was a swimmer and I thought that that was my trajectory. I was going to go swim in college, maybe make the Olympics if I worked really hard, but that was where I was going. And when I got hurt, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And, and I, I was so slightly depressed because I was sitting at home with sort of lack of direction. And my mom found this ad in the paper to be Kirsten Dunst's body double in a movie that was filming in Portland. Um, I didn't get that, but they asked me if I wanted to audition for a role oh. and I got it. Um, it got me into the union, which I didn't realize how lucky I was at the time. And um, that director introduced me to my manager and my agent. He wow. saw something in me and convinced my mother to let me move here when I was 17. So um, it was it was I was in the right place at the right time. And um, I always wanted to be an actor, I think. But I grew up in a really small town. Like it wasn't something that seemed um, attainable. Yeah. Did you, know? you ever revisit that, that decision after you made it? Was there ever a wall? where you just felt, oh, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's happened a couple times in my career, but I think what that forced me to do was realize that the business and, and this is not who I am. It is my job, and I needed to find things that gave me self-worth outside of the business mm -hmm. to sort of like sustain me through those droughts. Wow, that's right. Um, yeah, so I think that it's, um, you know, we all associate and sort of define ourselves by what we do, and it's not who we are. It's just what we do, oh, you know? Exactly. A chronic illness in Los mm. Angeles. It really is <laughs> what we do. Yeah. yeah, it really is. And, you know, the, the fear is that we could spend our entire lives trying to attain um, our sense of worth by, by what we do instead of actually who we want to be and, and the things that are around us. And so what is your mission? Who do you want to be? <laughs> <laughs> um, I worked really hard to like the person that I am. It was a road to get here. Um, and I think now that I've sort of done this career now for 25 years, I'm really trying to give back and sort of inspire people in a daily basis, which is why I started my YouTube channel, just sort of like use myself as a guinea pig to really motivate and show people that there is some joy and excitement to life while still doing the things that we do. Right. It's incredible. Yeah. Wow, 25 years. I think she's 26, 27. Yeah. 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 Amazing. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Oi, <Oil> Lavole. <volet. laughs> I'm inspired, especially by your arms. So. Oh my God. <laughs> For sure. Thank you so, so tell much. people where they can find your personal journey and your new YouTube. Is it yeah. new? How long have you been doing just, YouTube? So we're on episode five. Wow. We just um, dropped yesterday's episode, which is where one of the Longmire actors and myself went out to the, we, we drank for science. Oh, yeah. But the whole point of my thing is that if people want to learn, you have to give them a palatable focus and then hit them with the lesson on the backside because then they'll pay attention. So what we're trying to do is make these episodes that are fun and engaging with a life lesson, which Love is that. the long-term effects of alcohol and the things that alcohol can do to your life. So I love it. Yeah. The sugar helps the medicine go down. Yeah, it, exactly. So that's Katie Sackoff TV over on YouTube. And then I'm just, I think the real Katie Sackoff on Instagram. Oh, so, oh, But yeah. go watch Another Life on Netflix. It's there right now. Awesome. awesome. Thank yeah. you so Stay much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.